Welcome! Today we will walk through Paragon's latest deck system that has been implemented as a patch v42. In this video we will discuss the basics of building a custom deck by analyzing potential affinities that can benefit your hero, how to implement gems into your deck, and which attributes out of the three, which include agility, vitality, and intellect, can benefit you the most. Keep in mind you must be at least level 5 to access custom deck building. If you're a newer player, I recommend playing against bots and using default decks until you have become comfortable with certain hero or roles to understand how custom deck building can benefit you more as you climb up the ranks. If you lack cards or gems to build a custom deck, keep in mind you can unlock cards and gems by opening chests, hero masteries, and by daily login rewards. Nonetheless, before we get in building a custom deck and choosing cards, we must first understand affinities. Affinities are sets of cards that usually tend to favor certain effects that will help your hero execute their role better by altering gameplay or stats to do so. In Paragon, there are 5 affinities. As of now, each affinity has 24 cards. When you initially start to build your deck, you will be given the option to choose 2 out of the 5 affinities, thus giving you access to the cards within those 2 affinities only. For the sake of time, I will overview each affinity and what roles or heroes they generally tend to favor. Keep in mind this is just a guideline and many affinities can favor many and various heroes. In addition, I will read 3 of the 24 effects from each affinity to give a small taste of some of the effects each affinity has. Growth Favor is a defensive playstyle that increases in strength over time. This affinity does very well for the tank and support role, or for heroes who benefit from high durability and sustain to stay alive in battle through health and armor or health regen. Vengeful Mire Effect Burst Slow Apply a 100 movement speed slow to nearby enemies after taking 300 damage. Spry Kin Effect Restoration Link You and a target ally gain 60% of your missing health and mana over 10 seconds. One of the tribe. Effect group power. Gain 15 power for each nearby allied hero. Knowledge. Favors a tactical playstyle to outwit your enemies. This affinity can help provide self utility for a hero to gain an advantage over their opponent. Can favor various heroes, but also favors split pushers, carries, or even mages. Astral Leap. Effect blink. Teleport 1,500 units forward. Cannot be used for 8 seconds after taking damage from an enemy hero. Soldier of Fortune. Effect Golden Touch. Destroy the target minion and gain 115 bonus gold and 30 experience. Sleeper Agent. Effect Gag Order. Silence target enemy for 3 seconds. The target takes 15% increased damage. Order. Supportive playstyle that improves your team. This affinity has cards that provide utility for your team through wards, shields, healing, or even cards that weaken enemies through debuffs. A great pickup for the support role and tank role, or if you're looking for extra utility to help in teamfights. Domain of Stillness Effect Group Stasis Stasis yourself and nearby heroes for 2.5 seconds. Malinx Grace Effect Shield Link Shield yourself and a target ally for 15% of your max health for 3 seconds. Brilliant Fortification Effect Protect Structures All allied structures are immune to damage for 6 seconds. Death An insidious playstyle that bends the rules to your benefit. This affinity is truly a game changer that gives you the ability to implement crazy effects that will either make or break plays and fights. However, many of these effects depend on timing and executing these effects at pivotal moments will make investing your precious economy worth your while. Awaken the Emmerich. Effect Toxic Horde. Convert all nearby minions to your team and grant all nearby minions death touch and drain life. Sorvuk Initiate. Effect Sacrificial Link. Create a link with an enemy hero. Both heroes take 8% max health and ability damage per second. Continues until link is broken by distance or interrupts. Shadow Dancer. Effect Shadow Ambush. Enter the shadow plane and gain 50 movement speed for 15 seconds. Attacking an enemy from the shadow plane applies a 400 movement speed slow for 1 second. Chaos, an aggressive playstyle pushing everything to its limit. 
This affinity tends to favor heroes who benefit from having increased basic attack power or extra damage. This affinity can be very selfish since it usually provides one with means to gain extra gold or improve stats to deal extra damage to their enemies. However, this is a great pickup for the carry role. Deathcrawler, Effect Mighty Strikes. Attack speed is reduced by 65. Every 8 seconds, your basic attack deals 300% bonus damage. Glycerin Dawn, Effect Fireball. Launch a fireball dealing 150 ability damage and burning for 200 ability damage for over 4 seconds. Amplification Engineer, Effect Unstable spells. When casting an ability, damage nearby enemy heroes for 8% of their current health as ability damage. After choosing two affinities, you will now have to decide upon 12 cards you will want to have in your deck. In Paragon, your custom decks are universal and can be used across multiple heroes. So for example, you can create one deck that can be used for certain roles or a group of specific heroes who excel at a certain task or have similar base stats. All the decks you have made will appear for every hero in game. Nonetheless, before you choose 12 cards, let's analyze the anatomy of a card. Every card will have an effect located at the bottom of the card. Here it will tell you what the card does and whether the card is a passive or active. Sometimes active cards may have a cost of mana, and usually all active cards will have a cooldown. Also near the bottom of the card, it will show you the raw stats you will have while you have the card slotted. Near the top left of the card, it will display the number of attribute points needed to slot the card. In the next section, I will further explain what attribute points are, but as of now, just know they are needed to slot cards. Sometimes cards will only require one or two attribute point types to slot or even all three attribute points to slot. Usually higher cost attribute point cards have greater stats and more impactful effects and are usually slotted in the late game, whereas lower cost cards are used as early and mid game cards. However, sometimes cards may not cost any attribute points at all. Some cards may just be slotted at the cost of just gold. However, some cards that can cost gold can be consumables, which means they will dismantle once you have used all their charges, or combustibles, which means they will be destroyed once you die, along with losing all the effects you had while that card was in play. Some other card traits you might find are also cursed cards. Keep in mind, cursed cards can never be removed once you slot them in game. Ever. In addition, there are also Cultivate cards. Cultivate cards will keep proccing or stacking an effect or stat once a certain action happens in game. Here are some general tips when deciding which 12 cards to choose. Focus on picking effects that will benefit your hero, role, or task you are trying to accomplish with your playstyle. Don't worry so much about the raw stats. Keep in mind which attribute points are needed for each card you pick. While investing gold into this attribute benefit your hero, do most of your cards require a certain type or certain types of attribute points? Try to pick a somewhat equal balance between low cost cards to be used in the early game, along with a medium of mid game cards and at least a few higher cost cards for the late game. Keep in mind, you can only have 3 cards slotted at a time in game, however, you can discard and re-equip cards whenever you please and will be refunded your attribute points when you discard a card. Cards that cost gold will not refund your gold if you discard them. In addition, you can also consider cards that may complement other cards within your decks to make great effect combos within your cards or within your hero's ability kit. After picking your 12 cards, you will now have to decide upon which gems you would like to use as you upgrade specific attribute stones in game. There are 3 attribute stones in Paragon. They are known as Agility, Vitality, and Intellect. As the game progresses, you will invest more and more gold to upgrade these attribute trees or stones. Attributes are very simple. Attributes provide your hero with raw stats as you invest gold into these attribute trees or stones. It costs 1000 gold to upgrade one slot in any attribute tree. Every time you spend 1000 gold in that attribute tree, you will gain one attribute point for that attribute stone, along with the increased stat upgrade that attribute enhances. 
So for example, if you upgrade the agility tree four times, you will have spent 4,000 gold and you will have increased your attack speed and basic armor. In addition, you will have gained four agility attribute points, which can be used to slot cards that require agility points. Keep in mind, you can upgrade any of these attribute trees while out on the battlefield. You are not required to be at base to upgrade these attribute trees. So then what are gems, you may ask? Gems are bonus effects that are unlocked as you upgrade an attribute tree. You can pick up to 6 gems in your deck. Just like attributes, gems also favor similar effects that correlate with the attribute tree. Agility gems will favor effects that benefit power heavy heroes. Vitality gems will favor effects that benefit durable heroes. Intellect gems will favor effects that benefit mana or ability powered heroes. Gems can be unlocked on the 1st, 7th, 13th, 19th, and 25th attribute slot in an attribute tree. So essentially, you can unlock a gem at the beginning of a game, and after that, every 6th upgrade, you will be able to unlock another gem. However, every attribute tree can only hold 5 gems. So essentially, you have the choice to decide where you want to allocate your gems. Thus, you can allocate your 6 gems within various attribute trees or within various slots within an attribute tree. Here are some general tips to keep in mind when selecting your gems. You generally want to focus on upgrading one attribute tree to gain your gems quickly and consistently. So investing most of your gems in one or two attribute trees usually is the best strategy. Keep in mind, gems can never be removed changed or replaced in game so be sure that you will always benefit from this in some shape or form eventually whether it's an early game gem or late game gem you will usually only manage to upgrade one and a half attribute trees for most games so you tend to only need one high cost gem for your late game in your fifth gem slot it's very very rare you will ever upgrade two attribute trees to the max, let alone all three of them. It's okay to leave certain attribute trees empty without any gems or one gem, as long as you focus on at least one or even two other attribute trees. Keep in mind which attribute points are needed for your cards and whether having gems in that attribute tree will help as well. Lastly, after selecting your six gems, you have completed your custom deck. Be sure to name the deck whether it's for a certain hero, role, task, playstyle, or a certain situational deck to counter a certain team comp. So in all, building a custom deck is simple. Choose your two affinities, pick 12 cards, and 6 gems. I hope you guys enjoyed this beginner's guide to Paragon's deck system as a patch v42. Hopefully this video has helped newer players jumping into Paragon have a better understanding of how to create a custom deck or was helpful to older players switching from the old car system to patch v42 a lot easier. It did take a long time to process and understand this new deck system and produce this video, so leaving a like really helps a ton, I really do appreciate the support. I want to thank Epic for giving me the opportunity to playtest this new system early in order to make a helpful guide like this as soon as possible. Anyways, it's your boy Raptors and I'll see you guys on Paragon.